Are you ready to learn how to use ChatGPT to create your resume and your portfolio? If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Leon Laila Kava and I run a virtual assistant agency here in the Philippines to XU and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home so make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now I've been doing a ton of videos on how to use ChatGPT and one that was brought on by another commenter so make sure to hit, leave those comments below is how can I make a resume or or portfolio using ChatGPT. So I thought it was going to be a very interesting thing to dive into as I tried to also figure out like, okay, how can we actually do this? So if this is your first time seeing ChatGPT, this is what it will generally look like right off the bat. So right now they just did the update where you can see like when you last basically worked on a thread. And what we're going to do today is we're going to make a thread first on how to create your portfolio. And of course, before you get started on any prompts, make sure that you keep in mind the woe method. So the woe method is just a quick and easy way for you to remember when you're starting a new thread in ChatGPT of basically who you are, who you're serving, what is the outcome you're looking for, and putting the are you ready. So, and also the H of it is then how do you want this to be done? So for example, when you need help for Creating your portfolio and your resume you can put into ChatGPT. Hello, I am a social media virtual assistant and I need help when it comes to getting hired. So I need help on my portfolio and my resume and I would need you to act as if you are the hiring manager. Are you ready? So then it can give you specific feedback based on what you asked it. So one of the first ways you can use ChatGPT for when it comes to creating your portfolio and resume is creating your portfolio outline. So one of the prompts you can put into ChatGPT is basically, can you create the outline of the portfolio that I'm trying to make? And it will generate just that for you. It'll create the introduction part, the different ways you can show off your experience as a social media manager. Again, it doesn't have to be just social media. Media, I'm just using that because it's usually the type of portfolio that people create but you can do this as an admin assistant you can do this as a graphics assistant you could do this for any type of assist virtual assistant you might be or freelancer as long as you put in again that specific request inside of chat GPT of what kind of person you are or what kind of outcome you're trying to get from it so then it can create just that for you next is you can ask chat GPT to choose the platform for your portfolio and the easy prompt for that is going to be what's the ideal prompt for my portfolio and it will basically suggest different tools and platforms that you can use when it comes to actually now building out your portfolio and again i've said this before in other videos but your portfolio is basically a window towards what it would be like for your potential client or potential employer to work with you so when you create your portfolio it has to be in a good platform where they can easily reach you we can easily find your work it doesn't have to be you know, password protected or anything like that. It just has to be easy to access. Now, the next way that you can use ChatGPT when it comes to building your portfolio is basically asking it for the ideal content they'll put into your portfolio. So a quick prompt that you can use is based on the outline that you've created. So again, you're referencing something that's already created is what would be ideal content or sample content that I can put into the portfolio. And we'll actually write out the sample for what your portfolio would look like, again, based on its own outline that it created in the prompt before. This will make it easier for you to just copy and paste and edit it. I always say, please don't rely on the content that ChatGPT makes, double check and triple check, make it your own. But it's a good way for you to just have already a first draft of something you can now edit and you don't have to fully start from scratch when it comes to creating the content. And now a bonus way that you can use ChatGPT when it comes to creating a portfolio is you can ask it for prompts. So if you are a creative, let's say you're a writer, you're a graphic artist, you can ask it like, hey, what would be prompts that I can use for myself to be able to create this content? Now, it might be confusing, you know, chat GPT prompts. These are what I call the writing prompts, the graphic prompts, the social media prompts. These are basically tasks that ChatGPT can give you. There's another way you can think about it that you can then create for yourself and include it into your portfolio. And it could be as easy as that. Based on the prompts that ChatGPT will give you, you can then just go ahead and start creating your portfolio. And again, as another bonus for you, if you've already chosen the platform that you wanna work with, let's say you're working with Canva, for example, again, you can ask it for the step-by-step -step outline of how this could look like. So again, it's easy for you to just get started. You don't have to over think it you already have the outline and the step-by-step -step way so now actually looking at what we created on chat gpt so earlier the prompt was you know using the woe method and then we already asked it to create the outline for the portfolio again it went ahead and created the introduction the about the business so giving it an overview of 
who you work with and what you're for, basically, the social media management experiences that you've had, taking screenshots, maybe, of the work that you've done before. You know, graphic design, if you did graphic design, basically, uh, customer service. So if you've responded to comments or chats, basically, social media, uh, and how to co do it, you know, your professional development, any courses, certifications, the testimonials that you've gotten, and also the contact information. Now, on asking it what the ideal platform is for the portfolio. It gave a lot of really good ones, which is your personal website, your LinkedIn, your Behance, Dribble, and Squarespace. So these are different ways that you can you basically put up your portfolio. Uh, and the creating the sample content for the portfolio based on the outline, it actually wrote out something that you can now again easily copy and paste into your actual portfolio. One of the other platforms you can use to create your portfolio is just going to be on Canva, uh, which is just a quick and easy way to be able to put in screenshots as you need to. Uh, but it's just, again, a cool way to already have a draft right off the bat. Now, I asked it also, again, for the possible tasks or creative prompts that you can use to create the items in your portfolio. So it gave a sample tasks that you can do that you can then add and screenshot and add it to the portfolio. So you have, you know, so do a social media audit of someone, you know, make it up, make up a business that you can do this for, you know, do content creation, social media ad campaign, blog post writing, so on and so forth. These are now items that you can add into your portfolio. And at the very end, and it's still writing out most of it, uh, it's basically, here's the outline of the portfolio you can create on Canva based on the content they provided earlier. So it has the introduction about the business, social media management, so on and so forth. Again, now all things that you can easily add into Canva or whatever platform that you choose to create a portfolio out of. The next way that you can use ChatGPT is for then creating your resume. So when it comes to creating your resume, I have a ton of videos on this channel about that, but you wanna make sure that you are memorable, that you convey already the different parts of your background, of what it is that you do, the skills that you've done. So as a quick thing for you guys is, I've created the virtual assistant hiring checklist. So here we have basically just a checklist of making sure you have your resume, your application letter, your application tracker, and your portfolio on here. That's just a quick checklist for you. I already created a template that you guys can use. This is gonna be all linked below. It's also gonna improve the prompts that I just talked about here. So here is just a sample resume. You can change this to be your face. Um, if you've never used Notion before, just custom upload your face onto there. There's your resume already, the contact information, the skills, tools, portfolio, your work experience, title, and education. But what we're going to do today is we're going to ask ChatGPT to fill this out. So going back again to the page that we had, I'm going to put, now I'm creating my resume. So the first thing that you can ask ChatGPT to do when it comes to creating your resume is again, creating that outline. Now the outline of this might not match perfectly the outline that we already have on the Notion page, but we can try and see what will actually work. So let me go ahead and copy and paste. So what that's going to do again is creating already the outline for your resume, which again, we do already have the outline right here of what it can look like. But let's say you're starting from scratch, creating your own resume, it will go ahead and actually give you the same thing that I just put in. So your name, your contact information, and you have it right there. Uh, and then you have the summary and objective, which is basically going to be this. That's your summary and objective for your resume. It's also now asking for your skills. So again, putting the skills part here. So the way that you can use this, by the way, um, so let's say that you have skills on um, Facebook ads creation. So the way that I've kind of created this is you can you know, take away a star or you can add a star based on how skilled you are in the area. Same thing on the tools, how familiar you are with the tool. So now as is created that outline for us, we can again just double check based on here. Uh, so the only thing that I don't probably have on that resume template is just the references. So on here, um, you can quickly add your references part on here. So. I'll actually edit this template as we go since we want to match this with ChatGPT. So we'll put the references. Then here you can put in, of course, the name of your reference and then the contact information. And then here I've added a way that you can add your link to the portfolio that you just hopefully created with uh, ChatGPT as well. You can put in the link right there. So here we've kind of matched basically the outline that ChatGPT has made for us. So the next thing you can ask ChatGPT to do is to write basically the objective 
for your resume to start basically filling out the content in your resume. So again, I urge you, please double, triple check this and actually match it to what you can do. But here, right off the bat, you can copy and paste it right here. And that's your objective for it. Now, for the rest of your resume, you will have to be the one to fill it up on the title of the work that you had before the company, the location, and the dates. But here even, for the work experience, you can ask it. So then it will create a very generic, just what are the usual tasks, basically, for someone who is a social media content assistant. And then you can copy and paste that very easily into your resume. And again, please edit to act what actually makes sense because your employer will probably ask you like, hey, what was this experience? Did you actually have experience on this? I always recommend that you use bullet points when it comes to the responsibilities or what you actually did in that job rather than writing a whole essay. It's just easy for the hiring manager's eyes to go through and understand what it is that you're writing and they don't have to read the whole essay going through it. Another way that you can and ask ChatGPT to create your resume is to reword some power words. And now as someone who has hired a lot of people in the last couple of years, one of the things that's honestly a little bit overused is using power words. So these are words like intelligent, you know, hyper fast, detail focused. If you can find other ways to name that in your resume, that'll help you a lot. So you can put, go into ChatGPT and say, hey, can you give me a short description on this? So instead of just using words or power words in your resume, you're actually writing it down as an example or just a description. You can ask it to rewrite the words even to something that's less cheesy. So you can put that as a prompt into ChatGPT. And of course, a really cool way that you can use chat GPT when it comes to applying for jobs is you can ask it to create your actual application letter. You can simply put in the prompt of can you write an effective application letter that will guarantee a reply. So it's just a good way for you to use that as a good prompt. So then chat GPT based on again its expertise as the hiring manager will write that email up for you. And of course another way that you can use chat GPT when it comes to getting hired as well is just doing grammar checks as you're writing your own content, as you're writing your own thing on your resume or for your portfolio you can ask it to do a grammar check on what you've written so you can just double check and triple check before you actually send it out and of course lastly one of the biggest ways you can use chat gpt when it comes to building your portfolio your resume or your application letter is to ask it for feedback as you create more and more content yes if you're a graphic artist you probably can't ask chat gpt to create an image but you can ask it like hey this is the social media caption that i created can you give me the feedback on it and how i can improve you can say hey this is a blog post that I wrote can you give me feedback and how to improve so on and so forth and it will act as your critique as a way for you to double and triple check your work again before sending it into an actual human hiring manager who's probably using AI to screen your resume portfolio that's why you want to make sure that you show up in the best way now if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and again comment below what requests do you have of tasks or things that you get done that you guys want me to produce basically the chat GPT prompts they can use for doing it moving forward and if you still haven't yet make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how how to have a business from home which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here now if you guys have an amazing day remember that small steps matters and i'll see you in the next video bye